I'm going to explain the key differences in roller covers and how that may affect your painting project in under five minutes. Why five minutes? Because they're roller covers. How much do you really want to know? All right, the first determining factor that you need to look at in rollers is the width of the actual roller cover itself. Uh, generally, they go from 18 inches, which is this guy, all the way down to four inches, which is this little fellow here. And uh, there's a bunch of different um, kind of lengths in between that. Uh, I'd say the most common are 14 inches, nine inches, and four inches. The width of the roller that you choose is largely going to be impacted by the square footage you're gonna be rolling. If you have some monster walls or monster ceilings that are super big, then you might wanna go with a big boy uh, like an 18. Uh, it's just that the larger the roller, the more expensive the frame and the pans and the inserts and all of that stuff. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, uh, the most common is probably the 9-inch. That's what most homeowners and DIYers uh, use. We also use these quite a bit, uh, particularly in smaller rooms like bathrooms. The smaller roller covers, like this guy, this little wizard here that's 4 inches, uh, these are like special use scenarios where you're trying to get behind a toilet tank or um, real close up inside of, uh, like on the side of a refrigerator or something like that. The second thing to take a look at with rollers is the nap. And the nap length of a roller is usually expressed in a fraction of an inch. Uh, over here in America. And usually it's between about a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch. That's Those are kind of the common uh, varieties you'll see. And just to kind of show you the difference, so on rollers you have the inside core, which is usually made of plastic, and then the distance kind of from the inner core to the outside diameter of the material is the length of the nap. So this is a half inch roller cover. It's roughly half an inch from uh, the core to the outside of the material and you can see that as opposed to the uh, quarter inch in my right hand here. So why nap matters, let's go to my chart here real quick and the thicker the nap, the rougher the finish. So if you have a really tight uh, nap roller like a quarter inch, that's going to be a really smooth finish, whereas if you went up to three quarters nap, uh, that's going to be a really rough finish. Uh, the reason that you are not going to use a quarter inch on everything, even though it's very smooth and looks like things have been sprayed, uh, is because the thicker the nap, the more paint it holds, which means you're going to get more spread per dip in the pan. Uh, so if you try to roll a ceiling with a quarter inch nap roller, you're going to lose your mind because you're going to be uh, dipping like crazy and it's not going to spread very well at all. Uh, really, the quarter inch nap stuff is really for an application like rolling uh, flat panel doors, things like that, things you want to look like it's been sprayed. Um, where most people find that with ceilings and walls, a nice medium ground is about a half inch nap in most kinds of roller covers. Uh, that gives you a good spread and the finish looks uh, pretty solid. The last thing to consider when looking at roller covers is the material used to create the nap. Um, even in the exact same uh, uh, width and then length of naps, you can have very different fa um, fabrics being used. And the, the way they talk about these is generally the nap is made up of a fabric. Uh, this is a, let's see, this is a ultra finish purdy, it's just out of the wrapper here, um, half inch. And this is a microfiber roller. And these are pretty popular. A lot of guys really like these. Um, I am, we use these a fair amount, but I'm not a big fan of how much this thing sheds. You see that a lot with microfiber. Um, decent finish, but that's just something to consider. Also soaks up a decent amount of paint. Um, you also might see these uh, orange types from different manufacturers. I believe this is a Purdy a Marathon, also half inch. And this is a nylon polyester combo. Uh, really the only thing we use these for are like, is like rolling stucco or brick or something like that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the finish quality on these. Also it tends to kick off uh, a lot of uh, little uh, particles and uh, nap comes off the roller and then that can affect the quality of the finish. Um, it tends to soak up quite a bit of paint too, particularly when you get in the uh, larger uh, roller covers like 14 and 18 on these. Um, but they're not terrible. Uh, so, but for most interior applications that you'll be doing, um, for you know inside rolling drywall in your house and things like that, the uh, woven variety is my preferred uh, go-to roller. Uh, this is the uh, Wooster Pro Doozy. The Purdy version of that is their White Dove. They come in all shapes and sizes, so nine inches as well, and that's their uh, woven dry lawn fabric. I'm hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, but uh, the, the, the fact that it's woven back into the core just means it's going to shed way less. 
Uh, they also tend to retain their bounce, uh, which I like a lot. I don't like that when it gets super smushed. Uh, that's a little bit of uh, user-induced error as well. But uh, uh, for most interior applications, this is what uh, we like and what most people prefer as well, um, professionals. Uh, all the way to like DIYers, homeowners, all that good stuff. So, so that's going to do it for roller covers. If you want to see my preferred roller cover setups, you can check out my top three roller cover video that I will link to at the end of this one. And until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.